when you go for examination they'll find you and no matter who is communing with you they used to discuss with you and it's like what they're saying is like greek i don't understand but this year when they talk with you new year new brain new year new mind a new year new understanding in jesus name and then it says he found them 10 times better than all the magicians and all the astrologers that were in all his realm a new thing is starting right now look at psalm 119 verse 99 psalm 119 verse 99 i have more understanding than all my teachers say amen. amen Daniel went to school and then they gave them in the school somebody to teach the knowledge somebody to teach the language somebody to teach and those are the men of uh, the men of Nebuchadnezzar and they were real people that were sharp in knowledge in language and in everything but now Daniel became, he had more understanding than all the teachers that taught him in the three year course. Where were those teachers? When Nebuchadnezzar had a dream and he forgot, and none of them could bring that out. And then when it says that he had a dream and he saw that tree that was to be cut down, where were all those teachers to interpret the dream to Nebuchadnezzar? No, they could not. Daniel became wiser than his teachers. Daniel became, that was Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, way, way wiser, stronger, mightier than all the teachers that taught them in the school. This is your time. Yeah. I said, this is your time. Yeah. I have more understanding than all my teachers for thy testimonies are my meditation look at verse 100 in verse 100 i understand more than the ancients because i keep thy precepts number three now we're looking at number three that's the spiritual favor of 10 times better than our people and we're looking at um, daniel again chapter one reading from verse 19 in verse 19 it says and the king communed of them among them all among them all among them all was not found anyone like daniel ananiah mishael azariah therefore stood they before the king you will stand in prominent eminent places this year in jesus name and when the letters of interview will come and when you get the letter and they tell you where you are to show up you'll not say ah, this kind of place i've never been to a place like this yes but you'll go there but you'll get there and then when you get in there you know the interview is not just what you say with your mouth your posture the way you are respectful to them but you're not fearful and you see them there and when they ask you any question you are not looking down he said uh, i don't know the answer to that one the only ghost in you knows the answer to every question and then you look at them and confidently open your mouth wide and almighty god will fill your mouth the proper answer will come out and what others cannot do you will do because it says now in verse 20 in verse 20 it says and in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them he found them like they will find you 10 times better 10 times better than all the magicians and the astrologers that were in all the land this year will be a year of promotion it will be a year of progress and it will be a year of 10 times better where are you stand up and receive 
the blessing of the Lord. Stand up and tell the Lord, oh Lord, I thank you this year. And I thank you it's going to be a wonderful year. And all these promises you have given that were revealed to Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they will be mine. They will be yours because God is a faithful God and he will answer your prayer. Open your mouth and pray and talk to the Lord that this year will be a blessed year for you, for me, for everyone one of us the world around us is corrupt is wicked is evil is confused is compromising and the lord is asking us to stay out and to be the light of this world you have heard the word of god from the man of god you have been told that we can live an uncom uncompromising life and we have seen a great example, even in the Old Testament, Daniel. We want to call ourselves onto the realization of the fact that we are going to live an uncompromising life. You are making up your mind. I am making up my mind that by the grace of God, I will not be compromising. No matter what is happening, no matter the challenges that are around me, no matter the problems of the day, no matter the challenges of the day, temptations will come, trials will come, challenges will come, enticements will come. But it is for us individually to say, oh God, I have made up my mind. My heart is fixed and we made up our mind that we are going to live an uncompromising life. Because great and wonderful and the blessings that accrue to a person that has lived an uncompromising life. You are not the first on earth. You are not the first to walk this road. And we thank God that many walk on this road of holiness and purity of life and they fail. You need to make up your mind today, I will not fall. No matter what happens, no matter the problem, no matter the challenges, no matter what I'm passing through, I am not going to fall and you will not fall in the name of Jesus. You have started in the spirit by the power that is in the name of Jesus, you will not edit in the flesh. And Paul warned the Corinthian church as the man of God has warned us today, this night, that we should be aware, we should be careful. Let him that thinketh is tempted take heed, lest he fall. You have started well. Make up your mind. By the grace of God, all the grace that I need, the grace to stand, the grace to endure, the grace to pass through temptations and trials of life, oh God, give unto me. I'm not looking back. I'm not going to fall by the wayside. The devil will not overcome me. Evil will not overcome me. Let us make up our mind. That let us know fully well that definitely challenges will come. There are things that will come our way that will trouble us, that want to trouble us. Beware! And make sure you are standing on the rock. Jesus Christ, like you have been admonished and all of us have been admonished by the, by the man of God tonight. Let us make sure we are not building on sand. Let us make sure we are remaining on the rock, the solid rock. And we need to know that wind will come Air will blow, difficulties will come, evil will come, but in the midst of it all, because we are standing on the rock, we, are, we remain uncompromising. If you fail in the day of adversity, it's because your strength is small. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let's be sure and let's tell God, I will remain, I will abide, I will be unshakable, I will not compromise. And the Lord will do it for each and every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, watch, pray, read the word of God, study the word of God, memorize the word of God, apply the word of God. Let there be a very strong conviction in each of our heart. Let us know where we have started. Let us know the one that is holding us. Let us know the one that is able to keep us. Let us know the one that will sustain us. Let us know the one that has promised us 
that he will keep us to the end, that he will deal with us, that he will never leave us, he will never forsake us. Therefore, we are safe in his hand. And no matter the trials of life, we are going to overcome. Determine that you are going to overcome. But dearly beloved, let me draw our attention to this, that you are what you are by your knowledge. Your knowledge of God. Your conviction about the word of God, about whom Christ is, about what Christ can do, will matter in the day of adversity, will matter in the day of trouble. So every one of us, we must make sure, we must make sure we have the true knowledge of God. We must know the word of God. We must apply the word of God when trouble will come and we will not tell the enemy, no, you are not there. And that one will give us wisdom. Because when we apply this knowledge appropriately, it will give us victory over the enemy. It will give us victory over the works of the devil. It will give us victory over the challenges of life. It will give us victory over what is happening in the world today. There are so many challenges in the world today. There are so many evil happening in the world today. But we are making up our mind, we will remain. We are making up our mind, we are going to be on the narrow road. We will not look back. We will not allow the world to take us. Oh, by the grace of God, brethren, we are, you have started. I want you to say today, I will not look back. I will not allow the devil to take me. Remember Jesus Christ prayed for Peter. He said they are praying for him because the devil desired to have him. May I say to every one of us also, the enemy, the devil desired to have us. The world is waving hand. Iniquity is waving hand. Wickedness is waking hand. And the challenges of life that goes with the things that are going on in the world, we must make sure we don't allow them to take over our life. Whatever other program, whatever other people are doing, whatever their lives look like, whatever they are going about in their life and they are watching, they are looking after, be careful. Fear not. The Lord is on your side. No matter what they are saying, fear not. Don't allow what the eunuch is saying in the same way that he did not anyway affect the conviction of this man called Daniel. Don't allow what anybody is saying to make you to fear and compromise and go outside the will and the purpose and program of God for your life. Opportunities that they want to give you that will not take you to heaven don't take it. Maybe because of promotion. Maybe because of marriage. Maybe because you want to go overseas. Maybe because you want to take visa. Maybe because you want to do one thing or the other. Don't allow all those things to distract you from the narrow road. This is the, the, the way of the Lord. An uncompromising life. Determine in your heart. Make up your mind. I will not. And by the grace of God, you will not. So don't allow whatever is going on today to make you to look in the other direction. You have started well. Be disciplined and continue on this road. Beware of looking at others and the success of others. Make sure you are disciplined in your work. You are disciplined in everything that you are doing. The power and the hand of the Lord will be with us and will keep us to the end because he said unto him that is able to keep from falling the lord is able to keep us from falling the lord is able to keep us and thank be to god he said i have prayed for you the lord has prayed for you brother the lord has prayed for you sister and by the grace of god the prayer of the man of god that is praying for us every every day the encouragement that is given to us day in day out we encourage us to continue uncompromisingly on this world. And by the grace of God, you will not compromise. May I say that before we end this journey on earth, it shall be well with us. And great, great things are awaiting us. When you live an uncompromising life, you will be preserved. Preserved from all evil. Preserved from all wickedness. Preserved from all unrighteousness. You will be protected by God. God will be on your side. God was on the side of Daniel. God was on the side of Joseph. And God will be on your side. God will promote you. He promoted Joseph. He promoted Daniel. 
God will promote you. That is an uncompromising law. God will power you. The power that you don't have naturally, the law will instill into you. You'll be great. You'll be wonderful. You will be profited. God will profit you. God will purge your life. God will prosper your life. God will prepare you for heaven. Heaven will be your goal at the end. And by the grace of God, it shall be well with you. I want to assure you, brethren, great, great, great are the blessings and the power of the uncompromising life. Thank God. You are on the narrow road already. And if you are not on the narrow road, why not today? Why not come to the Lord today and join us on this narrow road? The Lord has spoken good concerning all. And so, join all and the Lord be with you. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we are grateful unto you. Mighty God, we lift you up. Gracious God, we magnify your name. And we say, blessed be your name, O God of heaven, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray that the labor of the man of God, that the labor of our leaders and teachers, that the labor and the sacrifice of Jesus will not be in vain on all. We shall remain uncompromising. We shall remain standing in this faith. We shall remain unto the end, unshakable. And Father, we pray all that we need, you will give unto all. Multiply your grace in all. Multiply your power in all. Keep us to the end, O God, and keep us standing. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.